Hello and welcome back. You know, sometimes you don't always have a computer handy when you need to input either a simplex channel or a repeater. So in this video I'm going to show you just how to program a Yaesu FT2DR without the aid of a computer. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with simplex channel first. First thing you do is power on your radio. You want to switch to the VFO mode by pressing the VM button. Now to change the frequency, just tap the current frequency to bring down the keypad. Enter your frequency. Once that's entered, if you don't have tone on, which would show up right above, right below the battery symbol and whether you're, which mode you're in, so right here it's showing that I have tone on. So for simplex to change that, press and hold the, the, the display button. Go to signaling. Number 11, squelch type. And turn it off. Hit back. And now you see there's no tone there. So now you're in full simplex. Now to program that into a memory, press and hold the function button. You've got the number 47 flashing here, which is the next available memory slot. It also has this little piece of paper looking icon that has no lines. If it's a memory that already has something in it, you'll see lines like that. Once you find the memory slot you want, just tap memory right. Again, press the VM button, and there you are. Okay, now to program a repeater in, you're going to repeat several of the same steps, like turning on the radio, going to the VM button, and get into VFO. Enter your desired frequency. Once you have that, you're going to need to figure out what kind of squelch type you need. So you're going to press and hold the display button. Again, hit signaling. Number 11 squelch type. Go to tone. Back out one. Drop down to menu item 12 for the tone squelch frequency. And then you can find whichever one you want. In this case, I'm going to need 79.7. Once that's entered, hit back. Back again. Now you're going to press and hold the function button so that you can again do the memory right. In this case, now it's showing 48 and that it's an empty channel. It also shows over here that I have tone and the tone frequency is 79.7. Press memory right, go back to memory mode, and there you are. And now if you want to enter an alphanumeric tag, what you're going to want to do is make sure you're in the memory section, go to the desired channel you want, in this case the one we just input. You're going to press and hold the display button. Now you're going to hit memory number three memory name and input your desired alphanumeric tag. To get capitals just run through the numbers and letters similar to the old cell phones. And once you've got that entered, sit back, and there you have it. And it'll show you Catalina, and it shows you the date that it was entered, in this case June 30th, 2016, and it also gives you your battery's power rating. Now I will put all these directions in the comment section below. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you've not done so, please subscribe and take a look at some of these other videos.
If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them below. Thanks again.